forsaken. Abandoned to the dark, what choice but to follow the flame? Welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 in part 21 of our Draws with Yash in a Mortal Empires campaign. In today's episode, our convoy has broken down and we have asked some greenskins to help, and so here they come to uh, assist us. They are bringing all sorts of nasties, though. They're bringing some rock lavas, two spiders, and a bunch of cavalry. Um, this is going to be a very, very rough fight. If we manage to survive, I'll be quite surprised. I'm actually also surprised that Rimgor managed to sneak on over and get this army captured. We definitely need to move up there and uh, crush him sooner rather than later so we can stop losing. This thing is doing its best uh, rattlesnake impression. Oh, it is a rattlesnake. Why? You were so big. Rattles are for uh, warning people. We don't need to warn people about something this large. It looks pretty cool with the drowsel with color scheme, though. Actually kind of looks like more like a rattlesnake than normal. West End Diamondback sometimes grows to three stories tall. We'll bring our convoy master on over and then we'll get this thing started. Similar strategy that we had against Grimgor last time. Um, no telling if it will work, especially if they just pull back and wait for their artillery to show up, which it definitely looks like they will. Yeah, that makes things really, really rough for us. Come on, Grimgor. I wanted this to be a fight. Now it's really not going to be. All right, let's bring our Dreadquake forward to at least try to scare them up into combat. So we'll move up, attack those Black Orcs. When using your Dreadquake, you do want to take them off of Fire at Will mode. Otherwise, they will obliterate your front line. Seems that Fire at Will mode fires at whatever's closest. Whichever target is the uh, probably the highest chance to actually hit is the one they go after. Which makes sense, but it's also quite annoying. Let's see if we can bring you forward as well. I don't know what your speed is. 46. I think most of the enemy cavalry is faster than that, so we'll probably want to leave you here. Waiting for your art your artillery to show up makes me sad. Get up there, Doom Train. In fact, we'll bring the other one over to act as a, as a bodyguard. We'll bring you two over. And wait for Doom. Mammoth, come on up. Take the position. Now here's what's going to happen, we're going to fire it, it's going to bounce right off this pipe. Come on, buddy. Using any of that would be big foolish. They've got a lot of heroes back here, so I guess the strategy then is going to be to take down as many heroes as we can. We'll consider it a trade for our armaments. It'll be a bit sad, though, because this was an elite convoy. Give him a shot, bud. Please don't, uh... Please don't hit the, the pipe, though. Come on, you can do it. He's a bit shy when, uh, when everyone's watching. All right, well, the reinforcements are here. You didn't even give him a, a volley yet. What is going on? Scoot him forward just a bit more. There's about to be a whole bunch of nonsense coming our way, though, so we will want to pull back. Let's see if we can get it one shot off. Okay, perfect. That's all we need. One shot and a run. And actually, we put him on fire at will while we while we pull away because it does have a 360 fire arc. It just doesn't show that it does. So if we can actually rip some shots in on some good targets, that'd be great. Obviously, we're asking for a lot here, but oh no, don't run through. Speedy orcs. We got the archers though. shot nice shot let's go for these black orcs here they aren't going to advance i am going to continue to blast away at them right in center mass tribes getting destroyed they got fire will now maybe we eliminate keep trying to rip shots at these uh, black orcs in the center line 
Their cavalry is going to be rough, but if we can get rid of the uh, black orcs, things become quite a bit easier for us. Nice shot. Almost center mass. They missed just by a little bit there. All right, people are starting to close gap. Let's go ahead and pull away. We will keep them off fire at will. We need every shot to count. I do kind of want to scoot the Doom Train forward, but we're going to do instead pull these bazookas up. The baby bazookas. I'm moving the swamp. Things are moving up. Definitely don't want the train to get caught in combat with them, but I'm happy to get some shots where we can. Yeah, they're keeping everyone else back. This is perfect. As soon as those rock lobas actually close gap, we're going to be in for a uh, bad time. They will 100% target our blunderbusses, and that'll be the end of our fun. Oh, interesting. They're content that they scared us off. Okay. Let me prove to you how wrong you are. Actually, let's try to get shots on the rock lobas. Is being pulled by a skullcracker, so it's not quite. Oh, are you on fire at will mode? Hang on now, what was that? I didn't tell you to shoot at them. That's wasted shots. Okay, the rock lobas are staying way back. Go for the black orcs then. That's a perfectly acceptable target. You guys move forward. We'll go ahead and take you off of speedy mode so we don't use too much of the coal. Be a bit energy efficient. Come on. Center mass. You can do it. Or you can miss everything. Oh, not you. You need to pull back. Can you fire on the rock lobas one shot? Before those orcs get here, or those ogres get here? You use the steam engine to get up closer. All right, now I think that's enough. Let's go ahead and pull back. Oh, it shot at the ogres. You let me down. Did good damage to the ogres, though. Very well done. A couple volleys should finish off a lot of the models that took some damage. They're suppressed. Their charge speed has been wounded by the... They are moving almost zero. Look at them. Another shot. Nice. It doesn't do a lot of damage to single entities. Okay, turn and actually hit a shot on these black orcs here if you can. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's go for the rock lava. These two are doing a pretty good job together. We could probably charge the Hydra in as well. Break them where they stand. Move the blunderbusses up a little bit more to get more of an angle. Same thing on this side. Well, you know what? We'll bring these guys around. You're going to be a secondary shot. They move fairly quickly. Did you hit the rock lava? Fire on the rock lava only. I'm happy to wound some of these orc boys in the back line here. Maybe. I would hit both of them. Awesome. And that's going to be your target. Looks like we need to pull back a bit, though. The ogres are scared off just fine. Go ahead and pull you back as well. Looks like the death mage is moving herself forward. Moving all that lug. Okay, let's go ahead and stand and launch some fire at them. You turn to get, get some shots. Ragnarok's moving forward. Here come the, the cavalry as well. You come on around and deal with the cavalry. We'll sit the artillery piece up on the hill if we can. Well, they keep being indecisive about their charge, don't they? Pull you guys back. Use that extra speed. Here comes the Arachnorok. Really like to stop the nonsense back there, but we can't really afford to. Let's go ahead and get... Oh, yeah, the Rock Lobas are starting to launch at our, our blunderbuss. Big sad... It's easily the best target for them. Drain, turn, and fire. Gotta blast these guys to bits first here. Alright, Kadai, we need you to stop these artillery teams. They've spread them out. They're, that's incredibly smart. 
All right, we use this slow mo to kind of take stock of the situation here. Our War Hydra is getting whooped on by the Erect Rock. That's not good to see. Yeah, I think we've got to shut down this group of. Even though there's heroes here and they were waiting for that, we have no choice. Go ahead and charge in kind of off to the side here. We'll go ahead and make sure the shotguns are still firing in on you. Things are starting to get real dire real quick. Oh, they're going around. Interesting. Go ahead and eliminate this group as they come on up. Yeah, our Hydra's really struggling in that battle there. Try to move the Kadai through. You are getting whooped on by that snake, or that, uh, that spider there. Oh man, now the boys are getting run up on. Let's drop down the Doom of Hashut. I think we need to deal with... Keep charging in. My boys are unscared. But we are running out of... Running out of dudes to get in the way. Use that Skullcracker. Go, go, go. Doom of Hashut right there. Ah, the train's in combat with the spider. Bad, bad call. You fire at the train, or at the spider, do as much damage as you can. Most of them are gone. Let's go ahead and start cracking into those biggins there. Ah, I think the battle is, uh, is well lost, boys. Sheer mass is coming at us on the other side. Come on, Doom Train, get your damage. Blunderbusses are going to bring down the spider, though, thankfully. Get in there, Hydra. Kill it. With fire. Power things going on the other side. The Ort boss is in with the blunderbusses. That's going to shut them down. And they're going to continue to cycle charge. That's very smart. Well, let's come on through then with the train and uh, play who we can. Drop it into fire at will mode just so we can take, keep taking shots. You deal with this river troll hag. I realize that that's not an easy task. Where's she waddling over to? Let those blunderbusses finish off a hero if we can. Uh, if you can pull away from the snotling pump wagons, we can we can attempt to. The mammoth is all angry. Those biggins are doing good damage. They've been sundered, but they keep just charging out and away, which is how you win battles with cavalry. Interesting to see the uh, AI using some cheesy, cheesy legend legend strats though. Let's come on up and around. Actually, we'll go ahead and blend through these uh, these guys over here. Try to get that sorted. Our blunderbusses have been shut down. Now, luckily, our Hydra seems to be doing great in battle against this uh, river hag. Rest in peace, everyone here. You turn and get some shots in. Looks like they're doing a very good job of stopping with those uh, snotling pump rollers. You go assassinate this wizard, please. Well, he is a wizard. He's not one I know, so he must be cut down. I'm actually going to say the only good... Oh, he's not actually getting any more good hits on the, the troll, troll hag. That healing for her is uh, really useful. I'm going to say the only good news is these guys should come back if they're not being hunted down, as these poor fools are. We're going to deal with these other board boys here. And rest in peace, our squad. They should be able to kill the swamp things just fine. You keep firing on those pump wagons. We're just... Operation, do as much damage as we can before the time is up. Our overseer is in battle with their wizard. He should easily win that fight. Keep you coming on through. Go ahead and charge into these uh, ogre bulls on this other side here. That's a really bad, that's a really bad target, guys. We needed those infantry and you just destroyed them. 
Fire at will mode, you have betrayed me for the last time. Go ahead and take a shot here at these Black Orcs. They are directly in front of you. I know you don't have much ammo left. Go ahead and use it where you can. That's the last shot. They're going to try to split up like rats, but the Black Orcs get directly hit. Sweet, our lord is absolutely handling this poor goblin. Knock him off the side. Just Spartan kick him. Here come the other pump wagons. That's going to pretty much shut things down. Another volley. See how many of those chariots you can bring down. Our mammoth has been slain. Rest in peace, Donnie 4. Bullcracker doing really good work, though. Let's pull him through. Or pull them through. Those biggins are trying to flee off the map. We can go ahead and get a couple more kills. See if you can slay the lord there just for... Just for spite. Yeah, we have discovered that the Iron Demon is really bad at single entity. Single entity slaying is not his job. And we tried to ignore everyone else, but... They wouldn't let us drop down one last armor of contempt. And uh, go get in a fight with some spiders now that the boar boys are back. Fight is one to the very end. Let's see if we can pull the Skullcracker through the line. It's got a lot of mass, but I don't think it has... Oh, it has more than the ogres. Look at that. The majestic Skullcracker. Should be doing damage to everyone it does it travels through there. We are about to end though. Let's go ahead and speed things up. See if we can come on over here and kill some of these uh skullcracker or these uh pump wagons. This is a huge blob. We try to try to charge through that again. We're gonna have a bad day. In peace this convoy. Yeah, just, uh, just smash as many of these pump wagons as you can. Looks like those guys are gone. Those both are gone. I mean, they, they flee, but they're gonna... We'll be back. See if you can take out the last of these gorgers. Make them recruit more. That'd be awesome. Anything, any inconvenience we can layer upon the orcs, I'm going to. We're gonna use these boys as chariots for now. We'll go ahead and speed them both up. They should get lots of extra power. They can charge right through the line just fine. Yeah, they're going to take damage, but they'll be doing some in return, which is kind of funny. So you move up, try to bring him down. Both of you hunt down the nasty goblin there. Slay the lord, make them pay another, what, 1,200 gold for another one? I think he only costs like 900, though, being uh, what he is. Yep, the lord's gone, but there goes our, uh, our engine likely as well. See about smashing through some of these weakened forces there. Yeah, I was going to go after the goblins. Be a bit of a bully. Oh, pump wagons, you have just sealed your doom. Get them. Yeah, I run over one of them. Scared him right off. Our other train is just kind of smashing in. They're, they don't do bad in uh, as... Oh, that one's gone. The explosion. And with the final boom, our last train falls. Hopefully some of these guys got shrapnel on their face. Hopefully all of them do, especially this guy. Right in his mouth. Alright, well, another Valiant defeat for our convoy. We did manage to slay a, quite a few of his, uh, his units there, thankfully, so they'll have to be doing some replenishing. Not worth it for us in the long run, though, because this is one of our elite convoys. We definitely need to make sure we clear the north before sending any, any more out. It is a bit unfortunate. He say a chungus? Well, hello, Wolfric. You apparently are a chungus. He would like a defensive alliance, and that I can agree with. Oh, man, that's going to make us enemies with Nagaron. Wolfric, you are not nearly as useful of a, an ally as Nagaron, but we'll go ahead and sign this agreement, and maybe we can... Maybe we can force them to make peace. Doubtful. Stelman as well. I haven't seen you in a while. He would like to trade. 
How about created and not aggression pact? Or some more gold. Thank you, sir. All right, we've got some hungry, hungry demons. Would you all leave me alone? See, when I was asking for a battle, it was not against demons, it was against normies. To keep the beasts at bay, we would have to sacrifice our destroyer. Well, this is just hateful. Traversing realms is hungry work. If these demons we've encountered to be believed, they are very hungry and they want to eat a whole, a whole destroyer. And you all are famished. Well, I can't sacrifice the uh, Big Papa, so we must fight. It gives us a decisive defeat. Yeah, we're a little bit wounded. This is going to be a challenge. The Hell Cannons are going to be absolute problems for us. We will have to use our Kadai to stop them, otherwise they will just completely destroy our blunderbusses before we can do anything. This is a winnable fight, albeit I think just barely. It's gonna result, it's gonna, I guess, require us to shut down these Hell Cannons as these guys are showing up. Have to let our blunderbusses fire for as long as they can, get all of their ammunition out. Get rid of the Ogres and these uh, Chaos Knights both. The actual Chosen, I don't find nearly as concerning as the rest of these forces. And that is saying something because they are very deadly. These Chosen Great Weapons, are, I think, are the strongest overall infantry in the entire game, just behind the ROR Bloodletter unit. So let's go ahead and uh, embrace death. Sorry, convoy. Okay, so in this Nurglish wasteland, I think our only opportunity to survive is going to be to hide behind some of these trees. And then wait for some of that uh, cavalry to come on over and start blasting them. So we'll go for... And even this is not going to be super defensive because those uh, hell cannon shots fly up and over. So if we're lucky they might clip some of these random bits of debris. If we're unlucky, which we most likely will be, uh, we will be slain in total. Throw the lads up into kind of a defensive position right in the front of the trees there. The plan is, once the enemy gets closer, we will rotate them up slightly so that the shotguns can fire in. And they may just choose to go completely around our shotguns, which are, I mean, around our infantry, which would be pretty much apocalyptic. Battle strategies in place. We have to keep the Kadai Destroyer back here as well. He otherwise will get surrounded and wiped out pretty quickly by the uh, Dragon Ogre squads. Luckily, though... In combination with our blunderbusses, these guys should easily beat the blunderbusses and knights both. But we have to avoid getting our blunderbusses exploded by the artillery. Obviously. Alright then. Guard mode for these boys, and then we'll bring our convoy caravan master on over. I wish he was flying around on a flap flap, otherwise we could pretty easily deal with the, the artillery. But for now, that'll begin. Pull as close to this building as you can, physically. Now, we don't want to be in a big group, so that's how you get smashed apart by hell cannon bolts. Okay, what's your plan, boys? Both hell cannons on the hill. Now, see, if you keep this strategy up, I can summon the Kadai and get rid of both of them. Awesome color scheme, though. A lot more bronze than normal. Generic Chaos, you do good. They're just here for a snack. If we knew we are going to run into Hungry Demons, we should we should probably pack extra Big Macs for the trip. Is it time for them to get aggressive? I don't see half your army, which is incredibly concerning. Oh, there they are. Mm, yes. As soon as the knights get a little bit further ahead, we will immediately start taking apart these uh, hell cannons. Yeah, the forests are keeping them hidden. Go ahead and turn you guys on both sides there. You'll be back to back with the shotguns. And then we'll bring... How we can actually get maneuver these guys so the others can fire. Something a bit like that. 
only giving him a slight bit of room. Alright, Hell Cannons are way far enough back. Thank goodness that they didn't uh, play that one smarter. Drop them in. I'm not even going to allow them to get closer. The Knights probably will turn and respond. Oh, they're going to completely ignore it. That's great. Look at them run! How are you moving so fast, Hell Cannon? It's quite impressive. Alright, the lad's getting back to back. Somehow it rolled up that far and Igman man managed to fire a shot. Oh, thank goodness for the debris. That was shenanigans and you all know it. It gets another shot. Okay, we're not going to get lucky a second time. You've got to shut that one down. I don't know where... Who owns this hell cannon, but that, one, that one's still firing on us. It's an eager beaver. Alright, rotate. Here they come. Those Chosen are actually keeping ground pretty well with the Chaos Knights, I can't lie. Bring the cannon itself down, there we go. That's proper. Come the Knights. You guys destroy. You guys hold in. Prepare for the charge. Break them. Why are you moving forward? All the extra armor. Yep, I can't get both armies, so we're going to go for these guys here. It has the Lord in there. Start blasting in. There we go, there we go. Pull back. Blast apart these chosen. We'll, we'll, we'll wait till they're a bit closer. Let these guys replenish their barrier a bit. Pull you on through. They didn't get completely taken out, those hell cannons. We will have to keep that in mind. Drop the doom of a shoot there. Shotguns are continuing to rip in. Those do not belong to you, demons. Ah, they're charging right through. That is... Berserker strategy. Starting to lose some ground. These guys aren't firing at anyone anymore, which is not good. Oh, they can't, because they're, uh being lazy. Come on, lads. Rip through them. Need you guys to keep the Dragon Ogres pinned. We need these uh, Chosen to turn and run. Pull the Destroyer into these Knights that are coming on in from behind here. Ah, oh, the Knights are back. Shoot at them instead. That rear charge is going to be real bad for us. Come on, lads. Hold. I don't. I just don't think we have the. I just don't, don't think we have the battle quality here. This enemy army was just way too powerful. You guys have to stay. Nah, uh, we're we're. I think we're starting to lose it. Those knights are scared off though. Let's go ahead and charge in on these ogres. We're gonna break them. You guys cannot keep wasting volleys. Rush those ogres. We have to leave these guys in combat, as bad as it is. Thank goodness you all are back. Come on over here and help out. Armor of Contempt for everyone still fighting. There's more Chosen on this side, so we're going to blast the cannons through here. Thank you, Kadai Destroyer. No, our last, our last foot soldiers are gone. You guys are going to have to run. No, they're not. There's no time. That's going to be the end. Come on to Kadai. Get some last good hits in. 
Good as the destroyer is so good at anti-infantry. We are starting to lose things though. Nah, the, the leadership of chaos is gonna hold firm for them. I thought he could have chased off the remaining dragon ogres, but they have incredible leadership. I actually think they'd have less better, uh, less leadership than most because of the fact that they deal that's the only way they can die is in battle. So they might be more likely to turn and flee than actually die a final death. These guys are back, but I run down my poor blunderbuss units. They know what's been doing them the most damage. Man. It was just sacrifice could I destroy or lose the entire convoy? I think we were going to lose the entire convoy either way. Punishment is being layered on aggressively here for our our Drowsworth campaign. You stay unbreakable, we'll go ahead and fight to the bitter end here. That's going to be the end. We'll speed things up. Our Kadai has been slain. And the souls of all our men have been claimed. Oh, unfortunate. Alright, well, with a defeat on the convoy, we lose the entire thing. I don't think we get to uh, keep anyone here. I wouldn't want to either way. Our, our, our uh, Kadai once again have been wiped out. Really? Oh yeah, Kevin got sniped out in the last battle there, didn't he? I thought that was for the Overseer. I thought we were going to have to recruit in another one. Well, we could go for a Hashut Prophet. Probably the best call, to be honest. Either that or fire, because it allows them to buff up the, the damage of the Hobgoblin Archers there. So let's grab one of Hashut if we can. Hateful Death and Destruction. And that's all we got. We have a vengeful lad here who has perfect vigor. You know what? We'll grab the lad with perfect vigor. Because Zod need the unbreakable. We shall see. He's claimed his Tower of Zor seat. Look at you, buddy. You made me claim both of the ones to allow us to start uh, confederating, but now you want one. Give you a couple of items to kind of hold the line here. Things are not going to be easy for you, good sir. You have stepped into the danger zone. Since you've lost Gorduz here, your hobgoblins are not nearly as dangerous as they once were. Looks like they do flee from Drowsoth. What cowards. It's actually quite irritating. Of course the lizardmen play like rats. Why wouldn't they? We're going to definitely move up here and hit Desolation of the Gash. Listen, auto resolve. If you kill more than maybe ten of my men, I'm going to be so frustrated with you. Be nice. There you go. Eight. That is less than ten. We can still be friends. While I wouldn't normally want to sack this for the extra bit of labor, we are going to occupy this as a factory. As it gets better. Oh, interesting. Confederation's still going on over in Cathay. The factories get better uh, guard posts, better garrisons. Is this for the local province, or is this for local region? Ah, uh, just for the region. How sad. Alright, well, in the meantime... Walls. Federation's done. Gordu's backstabber was wounded. You don't have to remind me, I remember. It was a sad, sad day. Bring some labor over here to Broken Teeth. That way I can rush in into the walls. Yes, please. I know Kevin was wounded too, don't tell me. Definitely need some more of the. I think it was these guys. The fire glaives. Man, renaming them, I was like, oh no, now I don't know what they're Army. called. We need more fire glaives for Drowsalus Army. Just more. Infernal Guard in general. We have not been able to do much upgrading. He's still a deadly force, mostly because of his own skills. 
and uh, spells. Would you leave? I am no one's slave. I don't know why you're in my territory. Are you waiting for reinforcements? Is that what he's... Are you waiting for reinforcements? You'll have to wait a little bit longer. I've got to come over here and deal with Ungram. We'll go in a normal stance, and I think we'll just kind of hang out nearby. It's probably a good idea to upgrade his his force because laborers are just not, not anything. Problem is, we do need to upgrade... Zadni's army here. Actually here at Krad Tommen, even though it's probably a bit too late, we'll demolish this building and put in the Hobgoblin one because now we're going to have to spend a lot of extra money on uh, yeah, the global recruitment of the Hobgoblins. Not a bad idea to grab the Soul of Damnation just so we have it, though. A bit of artillery discouragement for the enemy there. Yes, Castable was killed in battle. Let's just slowly layer on all the sadness from the last last turn there. Oof, that's unfortunate. We can send some more lads off to be sold for some gold, and I think we will. Definitely need the money. They're running out of workload. Can't really do that very up very much there. Must get to more battles. Luckily, Draza with definitely can. We will be going straight through the desolation here. After Mulkwan, he shouldn't be able to retreat too far away, and if they want to move together, that makes it even easier to bring them down. Yeah, I know he is in our territory. Such an interesting strategy. All right, Astrakoth. I think it's time for you to start up a fight with the Kislevites. Excellent. That's a lot of bears. Grigor, what is your army? How have you how have you done this, sir? That's a lot of bows. Well, that's annoying. I think we have what it takes to bring them down. Bears are definitely very scary because they can just roll right through things. Uh, but I think we have what we what it takes to bring down Grigor. Go ahead and uh, Get this battle started. Who are you at war with? I will cut your legs off at the knees for your contemptible. Yeah, you need to hush. I have nothing to say to Kislev. I guess we have one thing to say to Kislev. A die. We'll bring Scarbrand with us. Quite. Not gonna be an easy fight here, but we have we have the tools. Gonna give us Pyrrhic victory. The most dangerous thing, I think, actually would be the Snow Leopard. These war bears are pretty large targets, easy to shoot down. We've got lots of armor. Should be a fun battle. If we lose Astragoth, that's it for Astragoth. He has no immortality. Awesome. Proper stakes and a proper battle. All right, lads, I think you got you on back. OBS decided to take a quick nap, but I have been watching it like a hawk this whole campaign here. I will not lose a single second of footage. I have lost so many. I can't even tell you how many uh, episodes I've lost throughout uh, the channel's life so far. Um, it's, uh, it's quite sad. It's not just all OBS issues. Some of it's my own. So I, when we do take the bruises, we learn quite quickly. So what I've done is just pushed up some settings a bit here, uh, both in OBS, which I can't show you, uh, and in the graphic settings, which I can. So we'll come on in here. And I just lowered the grass detail down to medium because who cares about the grass? We care about the soldiers. This is our current graphic setup. Hopefully this is uh, this is handleable by OBS. I think we should be good to go. We get back in it. Okay, so now... This battle, I would be lying if I said I wasn't very wary for it. After I went ahead and declared the fight, I was like, well, this, is, this might be the end for old Astrogoth here. Um, let's go ahead and make sure we deploy up on the hill. We're going to use our artillery to draw them over towards us. We're going to make full use of high, our high ground, and then this massive structure here, which actually extends all the way to the back. They may choose to flank all the way around, but usually the AI is not about that. We are actually going to throw both of the fire glaives. I changed my mind pretty quickly. Both of the fire glaives on this side, as they have much longer range. And the blunderbuss units will be great at punishing anything that actually comes out of the forest there. 
that will get these guys in position. We've only got one unit of dwarf warriors. Our extreme lack of a front line is concerning to say the least. It's going to be really, really rough when they actually do get over here with all their cavalry. We'll have to be using all of our single entities and they're going to get torn up pretty quickly since these great tauruses don't have a lot of armor and the bear riders are very good at armor piercing and uh, anti-large capabilities as well. Hobgoblin Akazaz. Put these guys forward just a bit there. Want to be able to stop them from getting flanked. Really, really lacking for front line, which is concerning. Our artillery teams are going to have to be put in some extremely good work here. From what CA's recent article about elevation said, as long as you, the higher up you are above your opponent, the more damage bonus you get up to, I believe, 25% more, including on missile units there. So the higher our teams are, the better they're going to do. Let's have the Kadai holding this side with our uh, renders with great weapons. They should be a pretty nasty combo. We'll have you holding the flank with the Taruk and uh, Aftergoth himself there. We'll have the two flying bulls waiting to stop anyone from trying to get too close to our rifles. They're actually the most maneuverable there. We'll have, obviously, the cutthroats up front to try to take some of the charge. We need to spread the cutthroats out so we can actually do something a bit like this. It's not perfect and it's not by any means the most defensive, but it allows our troops to fire in and we can just scoot forward a little bit and get full access to without getting too much friendly fire on our own lads there. So the range units is one. Our melee boys. Uh, the single entities will be on their own. This is going to be this is going to be so spooky. Put the bulls together. There we go. All right. Let's get this thing started. Now, Astrogoth does have some legs. He can move very quickly with his uh, mechanical gear here. He's actually faster than most of the roots. Look at, look at him go. And we'll use him. What kind of spells do we have access with you, buddy? Flamestorm, Fire Cloak. Burning Wrath, and then the Hellhammer. He does not have great spells. Ashstorm is going to be the way to go. Let's see about doing some damage to the overall. He does have the Black Hammer as well. He's not a bad melee fighter. Much better than even Astrogoth, I would say. Or uh, Drazoth, I mean. Go ahead and give them the big booms. You go ahead and decimate these Threltsy if you can. Deal with these Armored Kossars. Just eliminate as much of their ranged firepower as we can. Really good hits there. Try to turn and hit these Kossars as they come up. I don't really want you to scoot forward though, so stay here. Push the rest of the line kind of up and rotate them. Looks like they are going to be willing to try to go through the forest, which, fair enough. We'll deal with it as it, as it comes. Astrogoth will be great at beating down on this uh, Snow Leopard there. He does not count as a large unit. They're not getting great shots with the Death Shrieker. Go after these Ice Guard next. Go ahead and blast these Zargard. Here comes the absolute ton of cavalry. Pull them back a bit. Let's get the Hobgoblin Cutthroats ready to take that charge. They won't do a great job of it, um, but we'll prepare them to. After God's Sprint on over here, we'll actually go ahead and drop in the Ash Storm to help out with extra damage. And we'll have one of the Bulls kind of sub in for his place. All right, all right. But for those Kossars, the Streltsy are not gone, but they're quite wounded. Blast apart those Zargard next. Let them reform. You hit these Streltsy, please. They're moving up very, very slowly. I'm going to go ahead and try to get a cannon shot on this whole unit of Ladies of Ice here. 
Let your loyalty be your armor. How about from cannonballs? My dear lass, how about from cannonballs? All right, here they come. I'm gonna charge straight down the middle, looks like. Oh, they are close enough to start firing. We need to switch targets then. Start blasting apart these Kossars. Yeah, things are about to start getting real, real dicey real quick. All right, Armor of Contempt for everyone up front here. Astrogoth, we need the Ash Storm now. Go ahead and charge over and stop that nonsense. Great Bull, come on forward. Go ahead and jump on these Ice Guard at the front there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Move forward to deal with that. We'll bring the Blunderbusses back a little bit. Perfect. Tear them to shreds. You go after this uh, bit of a Snow Leopard that's coming on after us. Break them. It's a large group of archers that needs to be shut down by some spicy danger noodles, and we shall indeed deliver. Get in there, Astrogoth. We'll go ahead and drop the Cascading Fire Cloak on yourself, as well as the Black Hammer of a Shoot, and even a Hell Hammer if we can find a nice target for it. Something like that really wouldn't be too bad. Get them spicy danger noodles. Put in the good work of a Shoot. We we'll use the black gem if we start getting into too much. Oh well, there—that's exactly what we wanted to do with that. Rip them to shreds. You keep dueling with the Streltsy. There's a wasted doom of a shoot that makes me so sad to see. Such an awesome uh, army ability there, and we've completely wasted it. Well done, Danger Noodles. There is a bunch of uh, charred corpses over here. Blunderbusses move up, start getting some shots in on the guys behind. They should be able to pretty easily beat down on these boyars here. Astrogoth drop down the vial of a shoot on their lord, get rid of him a little bit faster. He is not going to enjoy that one bit. The best gets. We are definitely winning the war here. Alright, the danger noodles are gone. Let's go ahead and switch targets to these deadly women there and go ahead and blow up these Kossars. Perfect. Grigor falls. Such is the way for all named Grigor. It's impossible not to say that name with the terrible accent. Give him the punch. Oh! Slam whammy jam. That's that's the end there. That's the end for Kisla. That went beautifully. Just beautifully. We lost, what, 80? Awesome. All right, they call it a close victory mostly because we used all of our ammunition, but I will take that win. Get smashed, Robson Clan. 82 lost. We will go ahead and... Well, the stack isn't actually even worth it. We'll go ahead and occupy you up as a... Yeah, sure, another outpost. We'll grab one. Bulge Azrael. It'd be kind of nice if the mountain climate actually gave you more output from your outpost to post just kind of naturally because they're in the mountains whereas the factories can be anywhere but they get better output from like frozen climate or not frozen but like kind of flat lands since it's better to build your factories on obviously flat lands instead of up in mountainous terrain be an interesting little addition there all right well let's pass out the more skills to astrogoth and get Dark Sacrifice giving the Winds of Magic drop for Hellhammer. So his special is Hellhammer, while Drazowitz is the Flames of Asgore. This is nowhere near as good. Let's grab the Piercing Intellect gives the enemy a drop to Winds of Magic. That'll be great for fighting the Serena. Hero Capacity for all heroes, and then Hero Recruit Rank for all provinces. That's the one. Fertile Lord it is. We're about to have all of the extra heroes. Or is our Rook here? We definitely want the Terror Bomb running around. That is quite an awesome ability. Activate the Fire Blood for Kiss Love even faster there. Well, with that victory, I am out of time for today. I bet it's Space Wizard to the War. Remember to leave a like for the Light God and a sub for the Sub Zone, and I will see you all in the next one.